Imagine a world in the future where you're coming home from work from the office, but you're tired, you're drained, your, your, your energy is gone, and you don't want to stop to fill up your tank in your car for work for the next day. And you go home, you go to sleep, but you program your car to go and fill up for you. Well, imagine no more because the future is here, my friends. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. This is gonna be a short video this week, my son will be over 2,000 shares on Wednesday when the money is cleared. I'm going to bring him up over 2,000 shares and bring his average down yet again on NEO. But let's examine, first of all, Tesla share price has hit record low yet again for the year and will continue to tumble because of price cutting out of desperation. They can't sell EV, their EVs anymore because of the inferior technology. So they think by continuously slashing price, somehow they'll be able to sell them. And it's not working. So I believe in their earnings call coming up, it will be disastrous yet again, and it will continue to tumble. So as Xiaomi continue to destroy the Model 3 and ramp up because Xiaomi is new, I am Motors is ramping up that crab walk car that I showed you guys. BYD is ramping up Seal to kill the Model 3. But I think Xiaomi will do the best job at that because we just have to give them time. They are a tech giant in China, but they have to get time to build up. So out of desperation, they're cutting share price Tesla yet again, and it's gonna kill the profit margin yet again. So Tesla sheds $350 billion in market value this year alone. And that's going to, that's going to double in the next three months. Um, more price cuts again. And remember I spoke about <laughs> the propagandists from Motley Fool that people would not read their magazines anymore. So they come on YouTube now, the people's network to spread their propaganda and lies. I spoke about that, how he keeps bashing Neo and saying, oh, well, you know, I would buy this instead of Neo, I buy that. And I said he will have to continuously say, I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. So take a look at this clip and we shall continue. Hey everyone, we got some more big news for Tesla stock investors today as the company had to recall thousands of cyber trucks for an issue to fix. So the official report from Bloomberg said that Tesla recalled 3,878 Cybertruck pickups to rework or replace accelerator pedals that can dislodge and cause the vehicle to unintentionally accelerate, increasing the risk of a crash. Now, before this report came out, there were uh, posts and other news outlets saying that people who had ordered a Tesla truck and they had delivery dates confirmed were getting notices from Tesla that their deliveries would be canceled or delayed and pushed out further. And now we understand, we get a better understanding of why those reports were coming out. Trucks fix them before they deliver them to customers. But I, I teased a little bit at what the bigger issue is here. And it's in plain sight here, the number of cyber trucks, 3,878. So here we are, April 20th, more than four months into the year. And of course, this is not the precise number of how many cyber trucks that Tesla has sold so far, but it's a pretty good approximation, right? If you need to recall cyber trucks and you're recalling 3,900 of them, that's probably how many they've delivered so far. And we're almost half let's say almost five months into the year that's a pace of less than 1000 per month less than 12,000 for the year other types of software upgrades that they would slash prices to sell the cyber truck 
But given the number we got so far, 3,900, they're way behind my initial prediction. If you, if you, if you don't remember, I made this video giving my shocking Tesla Cybertruck prediction for 2024. And it is a bit shocking now because they're nowhere near my estimates here. I did a scenario analysis up here where I looked at three different scenarios. Tesla producing 125,000 units because that's the maximum they had. 100,000 units and 75,000 units. And my conclusion was that they would fall somewhere around the 100,000 unit mark for 2024 in Cybertruck production. And it looks like I'm going to be way off unless the second half of the year is exponentially better than what we've seen so far in the first four months of the year at just 4,000. means they would need to do like, geez, 90,000 in the second between now and the end of the year, more than 90,000. That seems highly unlikely. So it's looking like less than 10,000 units. Um, if we were to try and get a uh, more uh, rough estimate of how many cyber trucks Tesla has sold year to date, it looks like less than 10,000 units they've delivered actually. Maybe they've sold more and they have yet to deliver them. But in terms of delivery, it looks like less than 10,000 units for the first quarter of the year. And that's on pace for less than 1,000 per month. So it's not looking good so far for the Cybertruck. All right, guys, welcome back. So as you see, as we're getting ready to ramp up for Envo, a safe EV, just like our other EVs, without massive recalls, one of the things that Pupovosian pointed out here is the sheer low numbers of the amount of these um, stainless steel homeless encampment that they touted as a cyber truck, the sheer low numbers that they were delivering. And even at that, they had to recall all of them. It shows you that this company is crumbling and the cookie is crumbling quickly. So as we look forward, Xiaomi CEO is telling, uh, look, all the fans of Xiaomi, if you cannot wait, the ET5 is one of the cars you should look into. <laughs> you see, this why I told you guys, it's just a matter of time before Xiaomi signs up to our battery swapping system. Their cars are probably already equipped for it. And they recognize that the local EVs are superior, so they're spreading the word. Whilst the Model 3 is not even aligned properly and they're falling apart. You saw that video where the, e, the ET5 ran into um, a Model 3 and it was like a hyena running into a full blow, full grown lion and it got ripped apart and destroyed, decimated. Not one airbag deployed in the Model 3. It is so unsafe. So as I am in contact with my friends, YouTubers in India, letting them know and showing them all of this to get the people in India prepared for in case Elon goes over there, the word has to be spread of how unsafe these the, the Teslas are. Not just the Model 3, all of them. So as we ramp up for Envo, Today, Tesla share price tanked heavily yet again, and that will continue to happen, my dear friends, because he's banking on full driverless technology that is at least six years away. And all we have to do is take advantage of the buying opportunities of NEO at this price point. We're holding the line today and keep buying the dips as much as we can in order to become millionaires. And one of my subscribers made a very good point. Neo San Francisco said he sees a shift where a lot of Tesla sub, uh, shareholders are now selling and jumping into Neo. I saw that also happening, even in my comment section. Even the analysts are talking about it. But just like Tatavosian, the Pupavosian, this demonic animal that is coming on here to spread propaganda on YouTube. Now he's admitting he was wrong about Tesla yet again. And he's going to have to admit he's wrong about NEO. 
Mark my words. I hope you guys found this short video to be informational, inspirational, and motivational to show you guys where we're going in the future. And I hope this video is helping to wake up the middle class to finally get a piece of the pie. As Fitty said, we get rich or we die trying, guys.